Now I want to follow up with one last thing, and I know we've talked about this throughout the week of just uh, putting your faith and trust in Jesus. And so if this week you've had an opportunity to hear exactly who Jesus is, maybe for the first time that you've realized that you don't trust Jesus as your Savior, but you want to, I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to just meet with you and discuss kind of what that looks like. But previously we had talked about how you put your faith in Jesus by just simply talking to him. Admit, believe, and confess is just kind of a, a system that we kind of make, we simplify putting our trust in Jesus. But there's nothing magical about A, B, C. Uh, what's true is that when you realize that you have sin in your heart that separates you from God and that you need a Savior, and then you turn those things over to Him and you ask for forgiveness with, with a sincere heart, uh, God promises that He would save you from, uh, from the punishment of your sin. And the truth is, what we've been talking about this week is that Jesus has paid the price for you. And so uh, you can pray that prayer all on your own, um, that you sincerely talk to God and just ask Him to be your Savior. And you turn, and you turn your life over to Him. Allow Him to be the one that's in charge of your life. Allow Him to be the one who determines what, what uh, is good for you. And so when we do that, God has promised that He has a place for us with Him forever in heaven. The other side of that is the sad stories. It's the opposite of the good news. It's when we uh, don't trust Jesus as Savior, that we don't surrender our lives to Him and ask Him to be the Lord of our lives. And the result of that is that that price that Jesus paid on the cross is not uh, effective for you because you didn't trust Jesus for that. And so the punishment uh, for your sin uh, has been paid, but you haven't accepted that uh, for yourself. And so the Bible tells us that when that happens, that at the end of our life, instead of going to a place uh, called heaven, where we're forever with God for all of eternity, that we actually spend eternity in a place separated from God, and that's called hell. It's, uh, it's not a great place, uh, but the worst part about it is God's not there. Our Creator, the one who's shown so much love to us, is not there, and that's a terrible place to be, separated completely from God for all of eternity. So I encourage you to consider Jesus and what He's done for you and place your true faith in Him. And he rose again from the dead to claim victory over your sin so that you can have confidence that uh, you have the promise of eternity forever with God. If you'd like to talk more about it, you can contact us at the church and love to meet with you and just uh, walk with you through what it is to trust Jesus and what that looks like in your life.